The places we inhabit create the context for who we are, as individuals and as a culture. Natives of the West Coast chose to live in places like the Channel Islands, Monterey Bay, and the Olympic Coast for the special qualities that today make them national marine sanctuaries. My people have lived here for millennia. The rhythms of our lives intertwined with the rhythms of the ocean. My people recognized the value of these places for the abundance of resources. In order to obtain the ocean's bounty, our lives center around the canoe. The people of the Olympic coast, the Macaw, Quileute, Ho, and Quinault, start their canoes with a living cedar tree, perhaps a thousand years old. Careful selection of a tree begins the process of building the canoe. With painstaking precision, the tree is transformed into a vessel of the people. For the Chumash people of the California coast and the northern Channel Islands, the canoe, or tomo, is crafted from redwood planks, traditionally split from drift logs. For coastal and estuarian travel, the Ohlone of Monterey, like other California tribes, utilize bundles of tule reeds to make canoes. The canoe offered an opportunity to access the ocean's many resources. Daily experience on the water provided a sophisticated knowledge about seal and whale migrations, currents, and tidal cycles. Traveling in the canoes, we traded goods as well as information and customs. The canoe connected villages and made it possible to share these resources. Eventually, immigrants from various countries arrived. Recognizing the wealth of resources, these entrepreneurs introduced whaling and commercial fishing operations. With them came new technologies, like advanced harpoons and the introduction of diving systems, which allowed for mass harvesting of the now threatened abalone. Cities and ports sprang up around these centers of opportunity, extracting great wealth from the ocean's bounty. Over time, this new human presence and the effects of human action transformed our planet. This has taken such a toll that we now protect these places as national marine sanctuaries. With proper management and sustainable use, we can maintain the natural and cultural resources that have been enjoyed for generations. Today, there are movements underway among our people to reconnect with the past. Tribes affirm a powerful relationship with the ocean in events recreating the historic canoe journeys. From the Channel Islands to the Olympic coast, Canoe teams travel through marine sanctuaries, visiting old villages to celebrate the past. The canoe tradition is a thread connecting history with present day. Through the stories and experiences of ancestors, our young people inherit our culture. With this wealth of knowledge, they can move forward and discover their own place in the world. National marine sanctuaries are necessary reminders of who we are, Native American and otherwise. Though our understandings and values for them may be different, our claim to them is as one. 
We celebrate together the many dimensions of our marine sanctuaries, the heritage, the wildness, and the significance of both. Il ne pas, il ne pas.